Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to create an easy cow print cuff accented with striping tape nail art tutorial. Cuff art is the adding of a border around the cuticle area and we will be doing so with a cow print. Now many of you are familiar already with the use of striping tape and I do have a video helping you troubleshoot in case you are having problems having it stay down and last. For this tutorial I will be stretching the striping tape to further accent the nail cuff so make sure to stick to the end to learn how to exactly stretch and curve your striping tape. Let's get started. All right, so for the cow print, you are going to need two colors, obviously white and black, and you'll need your darkest black and your whitest white. You'll also need an extra small liner brush. I'm using this one here by Leaf Gel Premium. So let's begin. We are going to start by drawing the cuff and the base of that will be a white base, obviously. So again, your strongest white you want to use so that it stands out. Grab a little bit of product on your tiny liner brush. And you want a tiny liner because it's going to be the firmest. If you do a long liner, that long liner might bend a little too much. And for this nail art technique, you do need precision. And that extra small liner brush will give you just that. Now, if you're using Japanese gel nail products, you'll notice that you'll probably get away with just doing one coat of this white. If you have something that is not as fully pigmented as a Japanese gel nail color, then go ahead and apply the white two times. Take your time. Remember, if you make mistakes, you can always wipe them clean before you cure them. Though you can get away with applying one layer of white, make sure that it's not pooling, right? like in a little white puddle so that you don't have any bubbling or shrinkage underneath that color. Tidy it up and there you have it. When you are happy, give that a full cure. Now we're going to take the black color and start creating our cow print pattern. Now, all you have to remember is that cow print pattern isn't exactly an oval shape, isn't exactly a round shape. It's somewhere in between a combination of two but always, always try to smooth out your corners and you don't need a lot of these prints on the nail, especially because it's just the cuff. So really do three, three prints, right? Three of these black prints and then just accent it a tiny bit uh, with the black, whether it's in a, a not so perfect dotted form, but just really also make sure you get down all the way to the to the end there of the cuff okay and there you have it that's very very easy you just go ahead and cure this so now that it's fully cured and you want to make sure that your black is especially also not too thick because it will shrink you'll uh, top coat it with non-wipe top because we are actually going to buff that top coat off if you do have a top coat that requires you wiping the sticky layer no problem just wipe the tacky layer off and buff it with your sponge buffer after you've buffed it with your sponge buffer, then go ahead and remove the dust with a nail brush and also with a lint-free wipe that is saturated with 90% alcohol. This is going to decrease and remove all oils and moisture that you may have applied back onto the nail when you did clean it. Now take your base gel product. Here I'm using Leaf Gel Space Extreme Clear and I'm also using this short oval brush I want it to be relatively short so that I can apply pressure as I start doing my striping, my striping nail art technique. And I'm not going to grab product on the brush to apply. I'm simply gonna work that product, whatever small amount of bead of gel that I get, to work it into the brush so it's nice and flexible. And I'm just going to use the brush as a tool with just that very little gel product in it. Obviously, grab your striping tape. I'm going to do a rose gold color. I feel and I find that it's just accents it just perfectly. It's, it, it's like a maroon. It's got a little bit of pink. It accents the pink, right? Brings out the pink and it just really creates a nice, beautiful, dainty contrast to this cow print. So give yourself a little bit of an extra amount of tape there to be able to hold and then you start stretching it and as you're stretching it you are also 
pulling it down and taping it down onto the matted surface of your nail. You're curving it, applying pressure, right? Uh, pulling it very taut and just bringing it all the way down. Hold it, right? You're applying firm pressure on both sides of the end of the striping tape. Give yourself a lot of excess to hold on to here. And again, just apply pressure, make sure it's sticking down, especially when you come back to trim with your nippers. You want to make sure that there are no gaps, no bubbles, no folds in that tape where gel may seep underneath. You want to work quickly, so you, at this point you should have your flash curing unit ready to go, whether it's having your table unit, lamp unit on, or a handheld flash screen lamp. You also want to have prepped your brush and work very, very quickly. So nip about a millimeter or two away from the edge here so that you're able to encapsulate that tip. And remember, we do have that troubleshooting striping nail art tutorial, striping tape nail art tutorial in our library for you to check out. Now, at this point, you might want to turn on your all of your curing units, whatever you're using, so that you're ready to go. So quickly pat some product, tiny amount, flash cure for about three to five seconds and do the same throughout the rest of the striping tape. Notice that I am not grabbing any more product. I'm simply using what is already on my brush, applying pressure to the tape that's laid onto the natural or to the nail here and flash curing. Now I'm getting ready to nip the last end here. And I'm not worried about the rest popping up because I've already technically taped it down with my gel brush, right? So nip it again about a millimeter to two. Once you do this, you wanna press down the tape again, make sure it's not sticking up or you'll have lifting for sure. And quickly apply a little bit more product and give this whole nail a full cure. Once you've given this nail a full cure, you have the option of going back with a little bit more gel base just to make sure you've sealed the entire tape and then go ahead and take the top coat of your choosing. I would even recommend a non-wipe top coat. And go ahead and apply this. Now if you use non-wipe top coat, make sure you do first apply a base coat layer so that none of the tape is exposed because non-wipe top coat is relatively thin, thinner than actual wiping top coat. So um, it can, your gel, your tape pardon can lift if you just use non-wipe top coat without first using a base coat layer. So apply your top coat thin, make sure you cover, right, encapsulate per se, all of your striping tape and give this nail a full cure. And there you have it, cow cuff with striping tape nail art. Easy, right? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be instantly notified when I release more of these easy, fun nail art tutorials. Which nail art technique would you be trying first? Is it the cow print, striping tape, stretching, or both? Let me know below in the comment section. Bye for now.